Hello, hello! Welcome to Lekka Treat and thank you so much for being here. My name is Benedicta and in today's video we are making light soup, Ghana light soup to be precise. The ingredients for this soup recipe is so minimal, you don't need much, you can actually use whatever you have and today we are using beef and fish. To begin with we are going to start with our beef which I have washed very well and cut into smaller pieces. We'll then be blending our onion, garlic, ginger, and pepper, and we'll pour over our beef the blended ingredients. So we'll begin on medium heat, and make sure that you let nothing go away. So I rinsed the bowl very well um, to ensure that I got everything out, and to this I'll be adding my no beef stock yeah it's a beef seasoning and i love this so much so i added about two teaspoons of that and i added some salt to taste yes i had run out of salt but i had some sea salt available which i used for my bacon and it came to the rescue so you need to mix everything well together and then place in your tomatoes today we are using only four tomatoes so we'll be covering this to allow our meat gets well seasoned and in the process our tomatoes also get cooked. So from time to time you can also check on the tomatoes if it's done. If it's not well done you can flip it over because the water is not covering it completely. It may take a while for it to get cooked. And also take into consideration your beef as well. Just check on the type of beef you are using. If it's beef specifically for making soup, then it may require a longer time cooking to get a softer consistency. So that should also be taken into consideration. So our tomatoes is well done. We'll be taking it out to blend and I'm going to use my hand blender for this. And yes, we'll be placing in some tomato paste, about two tablespoons of that and we are set to go. So I kid you not, getting to know how to make Ghana light soup will enable you make other types of soups that is peculiar to Ghana because light soup serves as the base for making your palm nut soup, your granite soup, your okra soup, and several other varieties of soup uses the light soup recipe to start as a base. So yes, become a pro, try out our method and you would love it. So I'm using my strainer to strain the tomatoes that I blended because my kids do not love to see chunks of tomatoes in there in their soup. So that's why I always try to do this. But if you have a blender that can really blend it up very well, then you are good to go. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to allow it to boil. And before that, I'm going to fill it up to the brim of my pan, leaving some amount of space for my fish as well. So this is what we have now. I'm going to place in my fish, my smoked freshwater fish. And I've had this in my freezer for quite a long time. And one trick that my mom taught me, which has been working very well, is to place in my fish, which has been frozen in the boiling soup. So you don't have to defrost it first. You just have to put it in as it is, in case you need to rinse it, rinse it with very cold water and place it in the boiling soup. And this is going to prevent you from getting broken pieces of fish in your soup it will come out as a whole so in addition i'm also having some frozen mackerel that i bought from the store here in germany i cut it into two and when i place it into my soup i use a spoon to press the mackerel to the side of the pan so that the mackerel doesn't open up but don't worry, you don't have to do this. It's just that your mackerel is going to open up a, a little bit. It's not going to tear apart, but it's going to open up. So this is what we are currently having. It's looking so yummy already, so delicious. We are going to allow this to cook on medium heat until all the foamy film we have um, disappears. So once you notice that it's boiling, you can also reduce the heat as well to low heat and allow it to simmer to cook through. Please try as much as possible, check the salt of your soup, add as much as you need according to your taste and preference. So you can't have light soup in Ghana without enjoying it with a good bowl of fufu. So today we are going to make fufu. However, if you don't eat fufu, you can enjoy this with rice, with yam. It goes very well with everything. 
So I have over here my potato puree and potato flour which I've mixed up already and I'm going to do the, you know, yebechi. <laughs> But before I put in all the effort of making my fufu, I did a quick check on my soup. As you can see, I've really lowered the heat and getting all my gears up to do the work making my fufu. My husband is a pro at this and he does well to make our fufu for us whenever I'm not able to or sometimes he just offers to help and yeah, I'm grateful for that. So once everything binds together, I add some water and then cover it up and allow my heat to do the work. And I don't spend too much time, you know, trying to stretch my fufu to get it done. No, I let the heat do the work. So I know the amount of water I have to add to get a perfect consistency, to get very soft fufu and not spend an enormous amount of time and energy stretching it out and yes that's me saying hello to you all my fufu is almost done just look at that it feels very soft it's very light so if you eat a large amount of this it's going to fill you up but you're not going to be overly satisfied and that is what i'm looking for So finally, we are almost done. It's about time I portion it out. My kids are happy. The husband is happy. <laughs> I'm happy as well. Yes, and then we are going to dig into this. I just can't wait to give it a taste. Just look at that. Our mackerel came out in a whole piece. My meat is also there represented. And of course, we have to look for our freshwater fish, commonly called Fremunam or um, Impata in Ghana. You see, it's a whole piece. It came out a whole piece and I'm able to take a portion out for myself. And please do give this recipe a try. You will definitely, definitely love it. You can get a freshwater fish to buy in several African stores. And it's time to taste it and dig my hands into it. It's so delicious. It's so, so delicious. You would love it. You can also present this, make this for your Ghanaian friends, your Ghanaian neighbors. <laughs> Or even if you are a Ghanaian hosting other nationalities, please give them fufu. They are going to absolutely enjoy it. So the fufu is so soft. It tastes really nice. And my fish as well. Everything was well marinated together in the soup. And it absolutely gave us a taste of Ghana in Germany. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also share with your friends and family and they would love it. Thanks so much for watching. As always, simple, easy, lecker. Bye!